seriously don't think you understand how difficult it is for me to do these videos. Because I do the little talky part in the beginning, right? And then I'm supposed to show you something, right? And then you we're all supposed to feel happy and really excited afterwards, right? The problem is that when I do the talky bit in the start, that might go fine, or as good as that can go. And then I do the drumming part, and then I fuck up, and then I have to redo this. So, by the tone of my voice, I think you can understand that this isn't the first time I've shot this video. I'm not going to do edits in them, because I'm too lazy to do that. So I'll have to, like, do the whole thing from the start again. Okay, so today, it's Tuesday, I'm drumming on Drum on Tom Doncourt's new album, and it's going to be great. And on this track, there's a very heavy uh, rhythmic undercurrent. Uh, that goes something like this. So with these things, I, I like to try to find a different pattern that might incorporate that, and then does a little different thing at the end or whatever. And one way of doing that is actually to not have one pattern, but two patterns, but they might be loosely based on the same rhythmic idea. So that's what I'm gonna do. And the inspiration comes from a Danish band that is really great and wonderful. If you can figure it out, you can just write it in the comments. And I'll, I'll tell you if you're right or not. Alright, so here we go. So the undercurrent was... Right? So this is what I ended up playing, okay? There is one good bar in there. Uh, when I do the actual thing, I really work hard on getting a full take, so it's not like one of those, like, computer Inglegord albums where everything's edited like two beats at a time. Not my stuff, though. So I gave my old band a better kick in the nuts, and you got to hear the thing, and there's the Tom Don Court thing. And if you're lucky, I might even show you two uh, ceramic Santa Claus type figurines that I bought today. Or did I? I'll see you very soon.